all right a little bit late to the party but i've just been super busy so i haven't had time to record many commentary videos but here we are with some old footage of the monster hunter wilds beta uh ray dow I'm, us I'm using the bow now don't flame me because i'm not somebody that uses the bow in monster hunter uh i don't i don't really use it that much i normally use switch axe charge blade long sword some dual blades uh sometimes some bow gun as well but i almost never play bow but i can't lie i really like the way this game feels which is funny because i do know some people are complaining about the way this game feels but i i really like and i don't know if it's too easy i do want to say i don't know if it's too easy but I really like the mechanics uh, with the, the wound mechanic. I think the wound mechanic is super fun and satisfying. Uh, especially with the bow, because you know you like physically shoot the wound. Yeah, I really like the wound mechanic. Now, I just want to say, I don't know if that makes the game too easy. I feel like it potentially could. Uh, what I'll say with the beta is that the beta was pretty easy. Like, it was pretty brain dead easy. And I can't lie, that is something that I am not a fan of. But it could just be because it was a beta. Uh, something that I noticed in Monster Hunter Rise is how easy the game was. And that really bothered me. Like, Monster Hunter Rise most of the time in Monster Hunter Rise, not all of the time, but most of the time, when you're fighting a monster in Monster Hunter Rise, you're gonna beat it on your first try. And... At first, you're like, oh, that's great, you don't have to spend all this time killing a monster. But I really think back on how hard some of the monsters in Monster Hunter World were. And... By the way, Maybe Monster Hunter Rise is a normal difficulty Monster Hunter game. I have no idea. Monster Hunter World was my first Monster Hunter. And it was... Like, I would go as far to say that Monster Hunter World is one of the hardest games I've ever played. Now, of course, like I'm saying, that was my first Monster Hunter game. So I don't know if it was just me being bad. And obviously, I understand Monster Hunter completely now. But back then, I didn't. And no video game has ever given me a harder time. No Dark Souls, no... It, it doesn't matter what game it is. No FromSoft game I've ever felt was as difficult as Monster Hunter World. That game was brutal. But you know what? I've really missed that. I've really missed that. And what I can say is that from this beta, this game was insanely easy. And... Like I'm saying, maybe Monster Hunter World was not a hard game. Monster Hunter is a very complicated game once you start playing it. But now that I've been playing it for years, obviously it's just natural now. I, I completely understand everything. So maybe that's why World was so hard. I don't know. I, I can't tell you. But all I know is that Monster Hunter World is one of the best games I've ever played. And this game is attempting to be like the sequel to Monster Hunter World. And I'm very excited because so far everything about this game is everything that I could want. Uh, the, the graphics, I do... I'm 50-50 on the graphics because this game looks absolutely beautiful. However, it does look blurry. I will say it does look blurry. But if you look past the blur, this game looks insane. Especially when like the thunderstorm is happening. Like this game is beautiful. But I will say on the PS5, there is a bit of a blur. Also, some frame rate issues. Now, I don't know if those are gonna be solved. You know, I played Dragon's Dogma 2, that game was 30 FPS, and that was also a Capcom game. I don't know if the frame rate is going to be fixed, because the game was definitely not at 60. But, 
maybe I'm being a moron here, but I didn't think the frame rate made the game unenjoyable. It was not 30 FPS, but it was also not 60. So, overall, that didn't bother me that much. I think the graphics are amazing, although they are a bit blurry, so I do hope they fix that. And another thing, the sound effects was, were very nice, because the, the game kind of uses a lot of Monster Hunter World sound effects, and I don't know, it just makes me feel happy uh, hearing those again. Uh, World is just a very... I don't know, I guess World... I, I never really realized how special Monster Hunter World is, I guess. I, I guess just the time in my life it was very different. I don't know. Uh, whenever I think about that game, I just... Definitely one of my favorite games of all time, but maybe I didn't realize that at the, at the time. But nowadays, I definitely realize that. So, it, it, it's nice to get a sequel, because Rise is a good game, but Rise is not Monster Hunter World, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, my only complaints about the game are the blurriness and the difficulty. I think the game needs to be harder, but then again, I I did play the Monster Hunter World beta, but it was my first time ever playing a Monster Hunter game, and I was like 13 years old or something. So, yeah. Uh, the game was a little difficult back then. I don't remember if the World beta was hard, but it was hard to me. And then, you know, the actual final game was one of the hardest games. No. Monster Hunter World was the hardest game I've ever played in my life, to this day. Um, Fatalis, Raging Brachydios, Alatreon, I understand that those are very late endgame bosses, but, I mean, they were... Uh, I struck... Uh, what was that one, you know, the, the, the Death Dragon with, like, the, like the gas? I, I struggled a lot in that game. Um, and again, it could be because I was new. Maybe Monster Hunter World wasn't that hard, but in my opinion, it was very hard. And that was something that was very special, and this game does not have that. So that is my biggest complaint about uh, this game, because Ray Dao is one of the coolest monsters I've ever seen in Monster Hunter. This guy that we're fighting right here is so sick. The way he interacts with the map, and like when the storm comes and all that, I mean, it's perfection. Like. Capcom just doesn't miss. It's perfection. I just wish that his difficulty complemented how sick of a monster he is. Because he is... He's so cool. His sound effects are amazing. His design is cool. The way he interacts with the map is insane, especially when the thunderstorm starts. Even his, like, home... He lives in like this like electric like cave looking thing and that powers him up too when he's in it and his attacks actually become explosive when he's in his home so yeah i mean i hope that capcom wasn't including this fight as a clickbait type of thing like i hope all of the fights are as polished as this now obviously the starter game monsters like the little turtle or whatever you fight the little rock guy they're not going to be that detailed. That's obvious. But I just hope that when you start approaching the end game of this game, or like the mid game, that the fights start looking more like this. I hope that. Because, I mean, the quality of this monster is insane. This, I mean, this is the reason you would play the beta for this guy right here. This guy is like the star of the beta. And I hope that this level of quality stays between all the monsters at least you know the mid or end game monsters um because this guy is just super cool so overall i, I love this beta um unfortunately look i'm a gta guy i enjoy gta although i really do not like red dead redemption 2 so what I'm trying to say is, is that I would like to say this game is game of the year for next year. But, like I said, I'm a GTA guy. Although, I did not like Red Dead 2, so maybe that will change. But, I do think GTA will probably be game of the year. But, this would be a close second for me. Only if they make those changes, especially with the difficulty. If they make the game as hard as World was... Which, I mean, 
I'm no expert. Maybe that's a bad thing if they make the game that hard because World is a very hard game. Uh, casuals cannot just hop in World and play that game. But the difficulty of Monster Hunter is like one of the mo like when I think of Monster Hunter World, I think of how hard that game was. And that's one of the reasons why I enjoyed playing it so much. And one of the things I like about Monster Hunter is that the fights aren't really that hard after you get the armor of that monster. Like, you kind of, like, power up to that monster's level in a way. Either way, just if the game gets harder, then we're, all, we're golden. Because everything else about this game I really like. I like the food system. I like how it's on a timer now. I like the... I like the open world. Uh, the open world doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a full Monster Hunter map, especially with how the monsters interact with the map. Like you're seeing right here, this is his home. It's all electrified, and his electric attacks will become explosive when he's at his home. The map doesn't feel cheap. I know a lot of people complain that open world games don't really have detailed maps. That's not the case with this game. This, th the game feels like Monster Hunter World, but open world. I also know some people were complaining about the hit effects. I, I do agree that the hit effects in this game are worse than World, but I don't think they're bad. Um, but that is something that easily can be fixed. Overall, I have very high hopes for this game. I think... I mean... I, I, don't, even, I don't even know what to say. I mean, If you played Monster Hunter World, you know what you're in for. And if you haven't played Monster Hunter World, you definitely should play this game. Uh, I will say something that's really hard about Monster Hunter is getting into the game when the game is, you know, halfway through its life or even... Like, if you bought Monster Hunter World right now, you might struggle a lot. So, I advise you, if you're interested in Monster Hunter, buy the game when it comes out. Playing Monster Hunter when it comes out alongside everyone else is truly a blessed experience. So you should do that. Don't wait, because it, it be, the longer you wait, the more stuff they add, and the harder to jump in it gets. Um, overall, yeah. Uh, this game has very minor problems. If you wanted me to very harshly rate this game, based off of what we saw in the beta, if I were to assume that the beta is like the full game, then I would give it an 8 out of 10, probably. Now, if they fix the blur, if the rest of the game has giant, uh, high-quality monsters like this monster, they fix some of the hit effects, and they up the difficulty, I can easily see this game being a 10 out of 10, and definitely Game of the Year nominee, although I don't think it will win, because, you know, GTA 6 is a thing. But if GTA 6 wasn't there, it would have a good chance of winning. Oh, other than that, very high hopes for this game. I cannot wait. Uh, Capcom back at it again. You know how it is. Anyways, like, sub, and peace.